Hey guys, welcome to another lecture. I am now starting off with a series wherein I will be teaching you a lot about uh, quantitative mathematics, wherein I first of all feel that you should have the knowledge of basic geometry. Once you have the knowledge of basic geometry, you will be very comfortable with questions based on triangles, quadrilaterals, questions which are based on polygons, questions which are based on lines and angles for that matter. So without ado, let's just start with the basic of geometry. So when we are saying the word geometry, what it essentially tells you, it basically tells you that we are talking about some visualizations. We're talking about something creative, you know, how to visualize the given information. When it comes to visualization, visualization ka kya matlab hai? You have a plain paper with you. You start drawing something. That's what is visualization. So visualization ko agar hum shuru karte hai, to ek point se shuru ho. What is a point? पॉइंट क्या है पॉइंट एक्चुअली में अगर आप देखें द पॉइंट दैट आई हैव मेड हियर इन रेड इट्स अ वेरी बिग पॉइंट इट इट इट्स एक्चुअली ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ सर्कल सर्कुलर शेप एंड यू नो दिस वुड हैव सम रेडियस पॉइंट होने को एक बहुत ही छोटी सी चीज है जो शायद दिखाई भी ना दे पॉइंट पॉइंट इज लाइक स्टार्ट ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इट हैज नो डायरेक्शन नो नो डायमेंशन सो एज सच हम पॉइंट बना ही नहीं सकते लेकिन ऑफकोर्स हम बनाते हैं पॉइंट जस्ट टू डिनोट इट जस्ट टू हैव दैट विजुअलाइजेशन फॉर इट ओके सो पॉइंट इज समथिंग लाइक द बिगिनिंग ओके नो डायमेंशन नो डायरेक्शन नथिंग बट देन वी स्टार्ट मूविंग स्ट्रेट इफ वी से स्टार्ट वी स्टार्ट मूविंग स्ट्रेट the point now turns into a line if you start moving straight from the starting point you start moving straight it becomes a line in fact when we say there's a line we're probably not talking about the end points when you you know join two end points to it that 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 means you are actually talking about line segment when you take a line moving in one particular direction and you know you just put an arrow at one end that is a ray okay but when you have lines you can think about visualization um, in terms of different different shapes right for example triangle for example rectangle squares we of course know what all this is okay but ha huh? मैं समझाने के तौर पे आई एम ट्राइंग टू जस्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ वेरी बेसिक अब जब आपके पास दो लाइंस होती हैं अब आपके पास अगर दो लाइंस हैं तो हो सकता है दोनों बिल्कुल अलग अलग दिशा में चल रही हैं ओके दोनों अलग अलग दिशा में अगर दोनों अलग अलग दिशा में चल रही हैं इफ दे आर मूविंग इन टू डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन तो कहीं ना कहीं पे जाके दे माइट जस्ट इंटरक्ट और दे माइट जस्ट इंटरसेक्ट समवेयर कहीं ना कहीं पे जाके तो वो मिलेंगी वो कब नहीं मिलेंगी इफ दे आर एक्चुअली मूविंग पैरेलली सो इन द सेम डायरेक्शन दे आर मूविंग पैरेलली देन दे विल नेवर मीट ईच अदर बट इफ दे आर मूविंग इन टू डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन तो कहीं ना कहीं जाके तो मिलेंगी कहीं तो कुछ इंटरसेक्शन होगा राइट सपोज यू हैव टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ लाइन्स which are intersecting with each other now there will be some sort of a rotational difference between them see this is a straight line and this is moving like this so there is a sort of a rotational difference or ye jo rotational difference hai that is what is called angle so here i'm calling this angle theta okay this angle is theta angles could be of different types one type of angle is acute angle when your theta this angle is less than uh, 90 degree 
right angle right angle means two straight lines so vertical horizontal line like this and this is called 90 degree this is 90 degree so this this is right angle where you have vertical straight line and horizontal and the rotational difference is 90 degree this is right angle now you can have obtuse angle obtuse angle is when this, this theta this rotational difference is more than 90 degree then this is called obtuse angle when it's just a straight line and you take this as a point this angle the rotational difference or in, in other words there is this line is here and the another line is on the same plane so this angle is called linear angle which is basically 180 degree then you can have a reflex angle when the angle is more than 180 degree we call it reflex angle if it completes the rotational difference completes a circular motion it completes a circular motion we call it over these are overlapping lines of course and this is entire thing is one th it, it's 360 degree okay the fact about uh, rotational difference out here if suppose pq is a straight line and o is the center out here see the if you would observe a straight line is just like uh, two lines on the same plane so the angle if you measure at any particular point that is 180 degree right suppose you have another line okay if you have another line the total rotational difference in pq basically is 180 degree now what happens is that you have another line now if say this is a 50 degree this line is 50 degree angle out here is 50 degree this angle is 50 degree since the total the total has to be 180 degree so this angle clearly has to be 180 minus 50 that is 130 degree okay so basically a cheese a linear pair axiom linear pair axiom kya get that if you have a straight line straight line may up kitani be lines like a job a straight line pay up kitani be lines intersect kar do. so total angle hai, total to 180 degree rega so this axiom basically states the obvious and uh, it is sum of the angles about a straight line will always be 180 degrees. So, here par agar L1 a angle hai, L2 a angle hai, L3 a angle hai, L4 a angle hai, L5 a angle hai, the total has to be 180 degree whatsoever. Okay. And this is linear pair axiom. Now, when lines intersect, when lines intersect, what all happens so suppose you have this is line one and this is line two okay ye line one hai, line two as i've marked here suppose this acute angle this angle this angle is x1 and this angle is x2 okay and this angle is x3 this angle is x3 i've already marked it now if you observe the total of x1 and x2 by the linear pair axiom, the total of x1 and x2 has to be 180 degree. Now, if you take line 2, wait, line 2 be the egg line, hai na? line 2 be egg line, okay? Aap is page ko agar tilt karke, isko straight dekne lag jauge, egg line, hai. the total on that line also has to be 180 matlab x2 plus x3 also has should be 180 right if that is the case this is only possible this is this if this is happening which it is happening that's a fact so this is happening then automatically x1 and x3 they have to be equal to each other x1 and x3 are equal to each other. So, we will all remember this from now on. Vertically opposite angles are 
equal and they will be called vertically opposite angles. So this and this vertically opposite angles, they are equal to each other. I have already given you the reasoning. So that's happening because this sum is 180, this sum is 180. That is only possible when these two are equal. Now, when lines do not intersect, they're parallel. When lines do not intersect, they are parallel. So, example of that would be lines L1, L2. If L1, L2 are two lines, as you can see here, L1, L2 are two lines. Ab yaha par kya ho hai? Ki ye to parallel hai. They will not intersect. So, suppose we bring another line, say L3, which will intersect both these lines. Ye L3 ko hum bolenge transversal. This is known as transversal. Ab yaha pe bohat sari cheese aayenge. So, when you have two parallel lines and then you have a transversal, there are a lot of angles getting instructed. So, you would expect, you would, you, you, you by now we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. So, hume kya pata hai? This, let me take a different color. This and this, they are equal. Okay? This and this are equal. Similarly, this and this are equal. Achha, ab isi tarike se, of course, this is also vertically opposite angles. These are also equal. These are also equal. So, now this is a relation. What is the relation? So, the angles x1, x2 that you can see out here on the same side of the transversal, they are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal. So, what all are, what all are corresponding angles here? These are corresponding to each other. These are also corresponding to each other. You would observe that this is also corresponding to this. This is corresponding to this. So you have these many corresponding angles here. So here as an example, I have given you x1, x2. They are corresponding to each other. Corresponding angles are equal. Then comes something called alternate angles. Now alternate angles are also equal. Now what are alternate angles? Suppose this is an angle, this is an angle say x, this is an angle say y. Now alternate interior angles kya honge? Suppose this is angle x, the alternate interior angle, the alternate angle to x interior, alternate interior angle is this, alternate angles alternate angles this so this angle is equal to this this angle is equal to this okay why is this happening for a simple reason so you have this is x this is equal to this this is equal to this corresponding angles so hence x is equal to this this is x this is also x these are all same now second thing so, first thing is this. Second thing is that if you take the interior angles, interior angles are supplementary in the sense x plus y. If you take this is x, this is y. x plus y is always equal to 180 degree. These are called supplementary. Okay. So, that is there. Now, suppose you have L1 is parallel to L2. L3 is parallel to L4. Suppose L1 is parallel to L, L2 and L3 is parallel to L4. And suppose X is 50 degree. So you know the angle here. It's 50 degree. You have to find Y. We have to reach here. Okay. So what would that be? What would that this angle be? Now, if this is 50, I know that this total sum has to be 180, so this has to be 130. If this is 130, then this is 130. If this is 130, by the corresponding angles, this is also 130. Okay? I could have taken, this is parallel line, so this is also corresponding. So I could have taken these two corresponding, 
either which way. So using corresponding angles, you can easily figure out that yes, y is 130 degrees. Okay, now suppose you have, again, in the same scenario, but different angles. Suppose L1, L2, they are parallel and L3, L4 are parallel. L1, L2 are parallel and L3, L4 are parallel. We don't know anything about L5, whether it's parallel or not. Okay, Even if it looks parallel, don't go by the uh you know what i've drawn here it may or may not be parallel okay okay so we need to know we we know that x is 100 we need to know what would be y plus z what would be y plus z x we know is 100 what would be y plus z do you think we need x to find out what will be the sum of y and z whatsoever this is a straight line this is a this is a line cutting it here the sum of y and z has to be 180 i don't need to use anything for that whether x is anything any a, a, any angle it, it will not matter the sum of y and z has to be 180 degree another example where again i'm taking l1 is parallel to l2 L3 is parallel to L4. L5 may or may not be parallel, okay? It's not given that it's parallel. Now, X, say, is 130. What is Y? X is 130. What is Y? Well, L5, I have not given you that it's a parallel line. If L5 is not a parallel line, uh, if L5 is not parallel to L3 and L4, it's just a transversal to the parallel lines L1, L2. We cannot actually use any, um, you know, any, any, any uh, of the angles that we have just learned. We cannot use the concept of uh, corresponding angles, alternate interior angle. We will not be able to do that, okay? In case the, the L5 would have been parallel, then I could have used something of that sort. So I will not be able to relate y to x at all since L5 is not given to be parallel. Therefore, y cannot be found. Okay, next example. I have given you certain uh, angles out here so you have lines and angles so you have c o a b d okay so this is point a you it's moving to a b c like this and these are the angles so this is x this is four times y this is two y this is three x we need to find if x is 36 degree, what will be y? So how would you go about it? Well, BD is a straight line. So you know that x plus 4y is equal to 180. If x plus 4y is equal to 180, then that means 4y is equal to 180 minus 36. That is 4y is equal to 144. So y is equal to 144 upon 4. And that is 336 indeed. So that is one of the options here. And that should be the correct option. So option A is the correct option. Well, that's how you, you know, play around with angles. In the next video, uh, I will be getting into more details relating to geometry, angles and shapes. Thank you very much.